rematch is a retrospective of approximately 60, 70 works. And in this particular uh, presentation of rematch, it is in four different venues in the city of Houston. The Blackford Museum, the Contemporary Arts Museum, the Asia Society of Texas, and the Station Museum of Contemporary Arts. The presentation of Rematch in all these venues sort of matches the trajectory of my life in this town. Basically being raised in the early part of my life in the Fifth Ward of Houston, Texas, in Cashmere Gardens. It became a, a city where it really exemplified the concept of no zoning. And this kind of uh, maybe had more of an impact on my thought processes, that everything was available anywhere, in any place. How it formed is that there is not a stylistic kind of arcing medium or formal direction that can be easily identified. So therefore you have a no zoning within a lifetime, so far, because I'm not done yet. The way I work has been described uh, in a pejorative sense as all over the place, but it's not all over the place because it is deeply considered in terms of coming out and originating from a conceptual focus that sometimes inspires and sometimes conditions that the ideas come from are compelled into being by intense kind of awareness of whether a political or social dilemma, and, it, and they can also come from dreams that are worthy of being realized as works of art. There's a territory of uh, aesthetics that look, you can look at all my objects and all the venues and make your pronouncements of thumbs up or thumbs down in terms of its quality of construction, its formal constraints, its conceptual background. You could do all that. And it fits within a category of art criticism and unappreciation that we all can, can live by and die by. Uh, that's fine. But now when I look at the world and, and seeing what my creative capacities uh, can offer, I think about now this, the aesthetics of our existence. Maybe I'm seeing now how I can be part of things to maybe lay the foundation or catalyze the foundations of how less brutal we are to each other or to myself, you know, in terms of how we're pushed, because you include yourself in the social reality. And how can a pursuit of things so elusive like justice and social justice that we're an artist can be a small part of that allows me to become more.